Hey, guess what? I ain't mad at internet trolls. I get what they're doing. I mean, comedians are society trolls. <laughs> That's what we are. I mean, for comedians to be mad at internet trolls, it's just that there's just no technique. There's no, there's no like, there's no skill. I remember when I first read the script for Workaholics for the audition. I remember reading that and just thinking, oh, this is never going <laughs> to get on the air. Like, I thought to myself, are they really going to let someone say these particular things on TV? Well, I had yeah, no man. idea. Like, even in the pilot, like, the first joke, and this is in the presentation as well, is the whole, like, order of how you do a dick pic and how it goes <laughs> right. nipple, dick, pussy, butthole. <laughs> And we're just like, there's no way we can do this. We can. A lot of people came in and auditioned for Montana. Oh, yeah. Too. It was, dude, the, the, I know all these people. It was like, and then another thing, too, about it is you didn't know what you wanted. There was Latino guys. Right. There was black guys. Right. It was like, it was like they didn't know what they wanted. And I remember walking in the room for the first time, and I saw all of I saw, first I saw Adam, and I was like, what the fuck is Adam doing here? Because you, you know? knew Adam, right? I knew him, so I didn't know. Like, I was like, oh, this is cute. Adam's in here learning <laughs> the business, you know? <laughs> I'm a Clippers fan. I got season tickets with Adam. I know. Hey, don't hate. It is what it is. But yeah, I remember running into you uh, in our little snack room. And I don't know. You were kind of like, oh, man, I'm a day early or whatever. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, you were like, no, because you said to me, you were like, are you here for Montez? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And you were like, that's tomorrow. Yes. And then I was so embarrassed at the time. I was like, well. Yeah, oh, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm just here scouting, you know, before I... <laughs> well, see, but me, I had that small interaction with you, and I ran back to the writer's room, mm -hmm. and I basically was like, guys, I just met Armantez. You heard it. Yeah, whatever. You know, um, you wrote that first episode, right, that I was in. Uh, I'm credited. I mean, all the, the I, yeah, you episodes were. we wrote together, and then they kind of like draw names out of hats to assign who gets what episode. And okay. mine just so I technically own your character oh, because I wrote that episode. <laughs> oh, so. And that shit was chaos, by the way. The final like, season. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, it just was like it was in, it was insane. But I remember you. Then when I watched the show, I'm like, hell yeah, dude. This guy was <laughs> taking some trips. <laughs> you know? <Yeah>, hello. Because <laughs> you got to work shit that you didn't yeah, get yeah. to work on. Workaholics. Yeah, I got, yeah. Workaholics, I got Workaholics, like I'm saying, like we knew everybody's comedic angle and where they would come in. And that's why we stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had fucked around with it so much. We had made Durs the crazy one. We yeah. had made Blake the straight one. We tried to contain Adam. Yeah. But Adam ended up working. You know, it was like. It's like we you just ran. It. You feel like it ran its course. We knew it. If, 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 Without like completely recycling it, it's like what else are we gonna do? What other drug can we take? None no. of us have even taken fucking peyote, but we're like saying it's cool. Yeah. Like if Comedy Central had opened just up the so Brinks truck, truck like, though, would well, you guys still be doing it today? I mean, fuck yeah. <laughs> we always wanted a diverse cast because, well, a we're bringing three white dudes to the table, <laughs> so you gotta. Are you you coming with the foundation? <laughs> yeah. So you gotta switch it up a little bit but i know like with the character of montez yeah we kind of wanted someone who you know it was kind of just an odd person we wanted everybody in the office to be kind of real and when you are working those kind of places you meet the weirdest people yeah so we kind of just knew that we wanted him to be sort of a tech nerd yeah i felt like i was the leader of the nerds in that or the weird guys in that in that crew especially yeah. when i first met jet set and wayman yeah wow that's how far back wayman He's goes from the very beginning oh man like day one wayman was day one Day one. Damn, I didn't know this. This is yeah. great inside workaholics information. Yeah. I didn't know Wayman was day one. All right, what I wanted, one of the things I wanted to ask you about, about workaholics, um, do you think that because it's such a dude show, you know, mm -hmm. it's such a like about drinking and all that kind of stuff and, you know, women and tits and all that, <laughs> uh -huh. do you think that workaholics could have survived in the climate now? Um, I think that the people involved in that show us you know mm -hmm. we're smart enough to make it work yeah, i think yeah, I we would have found a way to make it work mm -hmm. to some of your i think that i think the workaholics would still be on the air would, but would you have wanted to do that though because this would have been like the 10th season would you have wanted to get to 10 or is at a certain point you were like i gotta go on and do something else well one thing was well, for a while we were chasing that like syndication number and then 
stupidly, we never even realized that Comedy Central doesn't syndicate. So right. you're really just you're setting your own bar like where how long do you want to go oh right when it was time for workaholics and you guys you you were ready to create it on your own is, is it is that isn't that right isn't it like you guys you guys made the pilot yourself in a sense yeah the original <clears throat> pilot the original pilot which was old they so basically we were doing all that stuff the thing that hit was our most low concept workaholics you know what i mean like we had like, fucking rapping you, wizards yeah, like, you all, had all this it. shit that was just like so up there they, they were the, like you know what give us the office comedy that, that one the totally. one totally three three which stoners is, in an office we like that one which is why we have a whole bunch of episodes that push the envelope because yeah. we want to do that high concept crazy shit but the thing that was the most relatable was just the most low concept shit we could think of dudes yeah. in a house dudes in an office speaking our language yeah well, kyle hits me up he's like hey i remember <laughs> oh, you yeah. call and you go hey man uh, i got a part for you in this movie and i'm like i'm ready to go and you go well hold on a second <laughs> yeah then i had to make sure and manage your expectations <laughs> let me tell you what this part is so you wanted me to come on and get my ass eaten <laughs> This was the big, the, and then you said it's the funniest scene in the movie. That was your sales pitch. Yeah, well, it is. It's hilarious. Yeah, then why didn't you do it? I don't know. I, uh, well, oh, really? I, I well, my. You didn't want your ass eaten on screen. Oh, well, <laughs> how dare you? Yes, I, I, I thought that this. The character's name was Husky Hostage. Oh, and okay. He gets then why? Ass eaten. First of all, this is the first I'm hearing that his name was Husky Hostage. <laughs> but I always read it. I mean, we made the script when it was when we were doing workaholics. So, so you, you always knew it was going to be like me. Reading so I couldn't get a bigger part. I couldn't be a cop. I couldn't be an FBI agent. You totally I had to be the guy. Cop. You totally could have been a cop. But I saved the cop. <laughs> I saved the cop for the next movie. Am I right? Uh, I felt like you guys were trying to torture me. <laughs> um, like I what remember do you that. Mean? It what, wasn't what do so mean? bad. What do I mean? There was an episode where I had to eat boogers, and I I, I weren't real boogers. It doesn't matter. But I specifically remember you coming up to me talking about, oh, I can't wait for you to eat those okay. boogers today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, man. I mean, I like to see you squirm, but still. <laughs> but now kids just watch like unboxing videos have you ever seen that shit it's ridiculous uh, it. and then you see they have like six million views of just like a little kid opening up a doll i don't know what it is doing to these kids mind but it they're they, they love it you, it's hypnotizing you haven't got hypnotized you haven't just had a video on like that and been like i've been watching this for 25 no, minutes no their voices are always the worst i hate their <laughs> cadence i hate the words they use i hate the way they say it it's like it's always terrible like oh oh my god <laughs> oh yeah it's yeah, like yeah. it's a like a adult babies like, childish yeah, are we ever going to play Destiny again? I know, uh, let's take it to Destiny, huh? Because I can't even, when I'm not even yelling, I can't play video games around my girlfriend, when I'm just being like, damn it. It's 6.30 in the morning, I know. right? On a Wednesday morning. Wednesday. We haven't slept. I haven't slept. We're trying to beat Quadron. Yeah. You know, in Prison of Elders, uh -huh. this Destiny. Mm -hmm. I'm screaming, get behind the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Steve, yeah. shoot your yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get behind the rock. Oh, right. uh, we don't play no more. We don't play no more. You guys don't play like oh, sports games no. against each yeah. other anymore? going back from 2007. <laughs> no, one time I was at his house and oh, I, I won. Mm -hmm. And he, I look at him, he looks at me, and he just goes, pop! No, no, no. I went, <laughs> no, I didn't punch you like that. I punched you like that. Oh, yeah. Pop! I went, pop! With, like as hard as he could. Like, like a guile. It, it put, you you know, know, like guile from Street dude. Fighter. The yeah, but you know what, though? I get it, yeah. though, because you're a sore winner. Well, I went to one football tryout. Yeah. I went to one football tryout. The ball hit me in the fingers. <laughs> and it, yeah, yeah. It was like, and I was like, I'm out. <laughs> Two things. The ball hit me in the fingers, and the coach yelled at me because I, 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 you know, you had to run a route, and yeah. I dropped the ball three times in a row. On the third time, I, I went like this. Yeah. And the coach uh -huh. was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He was yelling at me, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. And then the fourth time, it jammed my finger, and I was like, I'm out. Because it is kind of crazy that they just let, like, kids throw at each other because <laughs> yeah. their accuracy is not there at all <laughs> they're terrible a a we saw this front front weekend yeah, go ahead we were in the backyard it was perfect where was it at it was over at studio city it was perfect and he got like the only thing he didn't know i had animals the only thing is there's these three hawks <laughs> hawks i go what 
Oh, they'll pick off the cats. Oh, what is this? It, well, yeah. Yeah. Just, just like uh, as a side note. Yeah. Oh, there's, this, there's Eng- hawks. Yeah, this is England? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, so at your school, the improv kids were the bullies? You guys were like the, this is like. We glee. ran went, shit. Wait, you went yes, to Glee? Yes, and we ran shit. <laughs> Oh Devil Mountain God. Improv League. What's up, <laughs> champions? Divas. You guys were divas. Especially, divas? Yeah, especially towards the later seasons. You just need to know it, all right? De- how? So how? De- what was deep? You Dude. guys are divas. Come on. <laughs> no way. You've With been your on, offices. You've been on sets. I know. You've been on sets. Yes. And, the, and we are that's what I realized the, when I went on other sets. I was that like, we were, oh, where's the divas? The Spice Girls are going to come back. The Spice Girls are back. <laughs> And this, this is, is the gay. And this is big in the gay news. This is this is big. When I I think that all the news is like it's a it's like it's generated based on my interest, right? Because right. I'm like, how come on all the news sources? It's like a ton of Twitter. It's all Spice Girls. Okay. It's like I thought I was going to turn on CNN and Spice Girls would be on there. Now, why are Spice Girls so important to you? Well, they're like the first music I remember liking when I was a little kid. Okay. All right. So Spice Girls are big. The Spice Girls are back. I did not know that. So thank yeah. you for that news. Yeah. Well, besides, they all look old as fuck, and they don't know how to dress themselves to look like, flattering at all. Got sleepy, <laughs> dumpy. <laughs> dumpy? Right? Oh, what? I don't know. Which was, one's dumpy? Was, was, was dumpy a Spice Girl? D- they alternate dumpy. <laughs> It would be hot mess or <laughs> Fox at like nine in, in the morning, oh. and I, I know that I'm auditioning. It's between me and Taryn Killam. Oh God! I'm right? so sorry. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. So we're playing knockoff king, uh-huh. and um, you cheat. I win. Okay. It's not that moot. I just win. And my brother goes, "Oh yeah." He goes to the kitchen. We were living together. Uh huh. He takes two knives, those not are, butter knives. Those are rough days. Two, you but like steak knives. Two steak knives. Right? And he starts, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I had them behind my back. What yeah, you, well, I know, I, could, I, but I saw you take them. What were you so going to do? Was, that move, I don't know. Is there a party? Yo, what's, your, what, then what, what's, your fa- what's your favorite? Did you have like a top three? Do you have like a three that you go, these are the ones that I'll always remember? Uh, or is it just all a blur? Oh, uh, <laughs> no. I, I mean, it's pretty much a blur, but the... I really like um, Business Trip, the one where we like take acid and go with Mary Beth to like seal the deal. I wasn't in that episode. Yeah, you weren't, but that one Bastard. was that one was cool. I really like that. Uh, I really love what is the name? I think it's called Good Morning, the one where Homegirl dies and she has the wake at the oh office. Oh my god! I really love that. That one. Would, I oh, I, you know what? I always tell people they don't know that when. An extra can be so annoying <laughs> that the creators create a write an episode where they kill her. <laughs> well, that's what was cool about our show is like if you kind of just didn't invite her back to be in the background, <laughs> people probably wouldn't even have noticed. I know, know, but you guys were like, nah, let's kill her. Like, we gotta <laughs> write a whole episode around it. I'm not necessarily a fan of improv. I'm not an improv fan. Like, if people are just oh, doing man, I used improv. I love improv, but ugh. I can see it can be really bad. It can be. It's e- yeah, there's no middle ground. Mm-mm. Improv is like a child actor. Yeah. They're either great yeah. or Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? There's Wait, no- those are both great. Oh, no. Come on, baby. Are you kidding Phantom me? Phantom Menace. <laughs> That's my shit. Do you like Anakin? Do you like... He was the worst. The fucking pod racer scene is, I'll take that over like half, more than half of what Star Wars franchise puts out now. Okay, well. I want the motherfucking pod races. I'll just listen to the pod racing sounds. (laughs) That's how dope it was. Like, that was sound, that was revolutionary in sound. Yeah. (laughs) Can't have the Star Wars universe without motherfucking Jar Jar Binks. (laughs) Okay. That's the homie right there. Jar Jar's. He's got some laughs. laughs. Yeah, but I, let me ask you this. What? Can you, without weed, would you feel the same way? Well, now, what makes you think that weed <laughs> influenced that decision in any way? Oh, what? what? I will say, though, Jar Jar probably smokes big blunts. <laughs> those, Damn. Those Jar Jar size blunts? See, they could... If they just added weed to Jar Jar's storyline, he'd be, like, the number one character. <laughs> if he was just always like... Super high. <laughs> they would make it all sense. Telling you all too, like, you know what you should do? You gotta go see stuff live. I mean, it really changes it. It just gives you like, 
it's such a euphoric feeling. It's such like, you know, you, you feel like you're a part of something. I suggest you go see your favorite comedians. Go see your favorite music artists. Go to a concert, man. Those things stay with you forever. But if you can make them all rated R, which I think is what they should be. Sure. I think if the, you know, that's the problem with, I believe. It's like, it's like when you first saw Logan. Logan was crazy. When you when I first saw Logan and I saw those claws go through that guy's head in the beginning of the movie, I thought, oh shit, this, yeah, this is why they haven't sh ever shown this because mm -hmm. that is <clears throat> gruesome, you know. Like it's like that's what that really would look like, right? You know. But did I ever tell tell you what he did for my birthday? No. Oh, well, this is great. One day he goes, Bob, I got your present. He comes over, and I go, what is it? And he goes, like this, it's two tickets to a movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm sitting here. He is exactly like this, but next no, to I'm, my brother. Yeah, yeah, you're But right. next to my brother is probably a 50 year old lady. No, she was about 30. No, we don't know. It's dark. Oh, okay. And so, the, so the people next to you did what? <laughs> so we were laughing, <laughs> and know, the lady great. next to him. She went like this. She went. Yeah, like that's what. Yeah, she went like this. Oh. Yeah, like that. To him. <laughs> right to him, right? <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. I'm not no, no, I okay. wasn't even there. No, 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 no. Now, check this out. <laughs> he, had, he had steak knives right? for no so, reason. Wait, Bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you're on an island. Yeah. You, okay? You know you're going to be on an island. You're going to be for six months. What's the five movies you have to have with you for your downtime movie? For me, it's The Godfather. Like, I would need one and two would be part of my thing. Those are great. I would like that. I'd want the Matrix. I'd grab. I okay. And School yeah. of Rock. That's funny. Yeah, those would be like. Those are like. School of Rock's a great movie. Yeah, I can watch School of Rock like any time of day. I, I just okay. I can just put it on. I think I would grab the Labyrinth. Of course. Just because I need it. <laughs> just because I need it. It's in my soul. See, I want to pull a Ninja Turtles into it too. Oh, so you just okay? You're 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 always gonna you're 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 sci are you sci-fi? You just no just, no. Ninja Turtle is like maybe the first one, but that's just for nostalgic, I think. That's for, but a lot of my core values came from there too, of brotherhood and friendship. I like about what you're saying right now is that because I find that people that are like, let's say you're a sound person, right? Mm -hmm. You can't watch a movie without, oh God, this sound sucks. Oh, or like right. if you're a lighting person, you're like, every time you, why'd they light it like that? Mm -hmm. uh, now, as a director, do you find yourself having trouble sometimes watching things? If you go like, why did they make that fucking choice? Oh, yeah. So is this why then, when you're thinking about the movies that you like, it's kind of mindless, kind of just like, you know, these are just fun. I can, you could divorce yeah, yourself dude, of that I thought love, process. I love entertainment for entertainments. That's good. Don't, don't ever lose that. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. Like the worst movie in the last 10 years, though. What do you think it is? That like a movie that was so hyped up that, oh, okay. that it was a cultural movie that just was the worst. That's and I hard, have that's hard. I know what it is. Uh, well, you got, already got one. No. The Last Jedi. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> but I have one worse than that. What? Solo was way worse. That was because can I say? No, it was way worse. How how are you gonna get a guy who looks like he's older? Then Harrison Ford was. I, I agree. You know, like right. he looks like Harrison Ford's father. He's just not a good looking. No more. Worse. No more. I'm like, we're done with it. it. No, I'm but that's it for you. Well, what the they did with Luke, dude. Come on, man. This is Luke Skywalker. You can't just have him on this remote island and then have him. And then it didn't show any of the training that he did. For You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're dude, it's you're, like, you're, dude, you're really upset. how is she learning these intricate Jedi lightsaber moves on her own? Right. Out, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, show right, some so, of the training, dude. So is that because in um that's Empire, second worst movie. In, Empire, Empire Strikes Back, it shows Yoda actually training Luke. You know, with the all all that. Yeah, she she dies, right? Right. They cut to Chewbacca. He goes, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Hey, choo choo. Hey, choo choo. Right? That's your Bitch. homie. That's yeah. your You've homie. You've been hanging dude. out with that dude for 40 years. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. your best friend. I better see your face, your hairy face oh, soaked you know? in tears. Yeah. <laughs> like just wet, like a, yeah. like a dog that went into a swimming pool. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, specifically Jedi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a hierarchy when you say you start as a Padawan, this, mm -hmm. the, you know, schooling, right? Like, like belts, like okay. yellow belt, green, you know what I mean? To your second I, in a, to your I second love, in I love Flynn. <laughs> I love Flynn. But now everyone gets a hold of the lightsaber. Bro, bro, bro. Like I'm with Flynn, you 100%. Like Flynn knows how to do that stuff, But that's too. from Force that's Awakens. A, that's a Jedi. That's true. Hey, man. That, that is true. So now, the whole... Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
Star Wars and Return of the Jedi, the movie is all centered around a huge plan to blow up this high techno technological uh, 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 machine, Death right? Star. So now they sneak in the back door, okay? Right. They sneak in the back door. Right. There happens to be a high-level captain walking around the back door. She goes to a random terminal and takes the shields down. You mean to tell me nobody in mission control could be like, yo, um, uh, the shields are down. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's put them back up. I mean, this is the Death Star, dude. This is the fucking it Death Star. Happened. So I got him a job at the Tempe Improv. Right, dude. Three I'm days sorry, later. Sorry, four I'm days sorry. later. I'm sorry. <laughs> four <laughs> days later. Bob, I got fired. <laughs> Can I tell the proper story? Yeah. I was a food runner there, uh -huh. and so my job, I had to like carry super nachos and yeah. whatever they ordered <laughs> in between the shows, right? In the dark, so you'd had them like, you know what I mean? Like, but, I was, but like with like everyone else had to do that too. Yeah, it's not like you had only a specific. So like, this oh. blonde girl, I forgot her name. She put an order wrong, no green onions or something. Oh, you were attacking a female? No, no, no. <laughs> let me explain myself, uh, man. So I like. So I like they set the, sent the order back and then they were complaining and then all I did was I went up to her. Let's say her name was Brittany. I don't know if her name was Brittany. I just hey Brittany, um, next time can you make sure on the computer not uh, just to put, put no green onions? Uh -huh. And she goes, is that right? <laughs> oh, like that? That's is what, that right? That's what she did. Yeah, all I right, get him a job at Sushi Dan. <laughs> right? <laughs> Two days later, he gets fired. Why? He talked to the um, sushi head sushi chef inappropriately. So I'm going to say something right now, all right? I need to I defend myself evidence. with this one. Can I defend myself with this <laughs> one again? Okay, I'm a, I am worked the noon shift, and I'm a food runner again. <laughs> a waiter. Yeah. Here's what we know you're not okay. good at. <laughs> I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. And so I took a order... With the sushi orders, you have to get it directly from the sushi chef. Then he'll go, okay, table three, table eight, table three, whatever. Uh -huh. So this this Korean dude from Seoul, whatever, he was like, yeah, iriwa. Table, you, he, he, three. <laughs> and, you know in what I'm Korean, saying? He was yeah. talking to me like I'm in the m military. Like I'm like uh, oh. the rookie in the, you know what I'm saying? And so I, I went up to him and I go, hey, man, you can't talk to me like I that. I was just about to say, Steve, in these three examples... There's a moment where you feel disrespected yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you react, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, so I, now, go, I go, hey, man, you can't talk to me like that. You I, know? We're, not I the, we're not in Korea, dude. You know what I mean? Now, is there a moment that you can say to yourself, though, that you are being disrespected and you are in, a, you are in the right? But is there a moment that you can say to yourself, if I had to handle it differently, You're I right. would have? I, you know, and through counseling now and through my therapy, oh, I would have, I would have handled it differently. Yeah. yeah, see? I'm sorry. This is personal it's, growth yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. I, like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with meeting somebody online. Make that the initial thing. That's the, the introduction. The, hey, how you doing? Like your pictures. Chat a little bit. But then immediately get off of that. Give them your number. Get their number. Make plans. Go do something. Go sit down for coffee. Sit across from a person and really talk to them. Look in their eyes. Do you know how different it is? Like, I don't care how close or romantic you think you are. If you're just texting, that is not real communication. You lose the nuance of 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 what somebody is saying, their body language. You're not as brave. You have to like actually be thoughtful and think about what you're saying before you say things to people. But this is how we're communicating now. This is what we're doing. Everybody's chatting and talking online and talking through Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram and texting. That's not real communication. Yeah. And you were my first, first real director. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm your Marty Scorsese. Yeah, baby. man, you were the first one yep. to like, you know, and then by the, you know, by season seven, it was like, you know, you know, we had like two takes and it was like moving on, you know, Town right now in L.A. And I see Aquaman, you know, uh -huh. I'm not. He watching doesn't that. look like him. I'm not watching that. Yeah, but I Aquaman's refuse. blonde hair. No, yeah, I am not watching Aquaman. No, but at the same time, though, you have to remember that when these things were first created, that we were a much more racist country. If you're Bruce Wayne. What if Bruce Wayne was Indian? Would you watch it? Probably, depending on you know. It would throw you off. The whole th you wouldn't be able to get past the idea that he's not Indian. Well, I don't know. It's, he's a he's not Indian. He's a fictional character. I understand that, but stay true. Uh, that's what I'm. That's why, right? When you someone like the when the last Airbender, Airbender, Airbender comes out, you think to yourself, oh, finally. 
you know, we get to see because you know. All right, all right. Let me. So we get to see us. Okay, well, let me let me tell you the, where I'm. Let me show you the difference in my mind. If there's a rich billionaire and he's Indian and he decides to be Batman, I'm fine with that. Okay, because because and his re- name is Bruce Wayne. The whole story. It could be you know whatever. Would they? Would you change? His he's name? American. You know, his his his, his he's third generation Indian American okay. and they're billionaires. He became Batman. My problem, why I'm with you with this Airbender thing is. He seemed to be doing stuff that there should be Asian people here. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're at a monastery. They're at a, like a, you yeah. know, they're, they're talking about foo-foo, like, you know, Buddhist type stuff. And so then you, you can't do that. You know, you right, know? right. So I'm saying if there's a show about like you're at a sushi restaurant and then the chef is Indian there, then I might be like, well, why is that guy Indian? But, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm with because you on Because it's the-, the same problem that you have a bit about um, that Disney movie, the um, Beauty and the Beast, yeah. right? Same thing where they go into those. I never saw the movie, but yeah, they're in a 14th century French town, and there's six random black people in this town. <laughs> you yeah. can't just do that. Yeah, uh, right. It yeah, don't yeah. make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't yeah. make any sense because you, right. you're looking at you like, how's this? How how are they there? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying about. That's I, why I'm not. It's not the same to me. Like you know, like if Superman, if Will Smith was playing Superman. Yeah. Like yeah, there could be black people on Krypton. Like they, 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 you just changed the story. You know? and, and trust me, I don't like being force fed Asian. Either. All right, all right. Like when I'm watching Star Wars, yeah, I've got too many. Oh, I know. They're, I see what you're doing, yeah. Disney. Let's check out my bit. Like I want, like Charlie's Angels. I want these bitches white. Okay. Yep. Right. How's the, how's being a father? Has it has it changed your perspective on uh on like what you do, or is it like do you have um, more focus? Like what are you know what are the, all the cliches that people say about having a kid? Are you? I mean, well, what are you excited about? It was interesting because like you know go from Game Over Man, a super boundary pushing who gives a fuck kind of attitude to a Sandler movie that is a little bit more broader. I'm not sipping as much haterade on the <laughs> on the broad stuff, you know. I think I used to sip a lot of that yes. Bay Area haterade <laughs> on on like this shit that's like it's fine. What do you mean? Cuz it has good values and stuff. It's right. it's bad. No, I I kind of want that shit to go into my son's brain too, good you know. For you. I almost wish Twitter would do a thing where they delete tweets. <laughs> You know, like after six months, you you know, delete my history and let's move on from there. Because you know, I'm different now. Boom, uh, I want to clear that out. Because like I've I know I've tweeted some stuff. Like sometimes Twitter's just like a you you say like whatever you you feeling something. You're like I can't believe that happened. And you go boom 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 boom, and then like people are holding you to that. It's one moment. Did you so, headbutt him and you no, maybe no? No, what we know. do is when we're standing, right? Uh huh. We're you know we're, we're putting so your our head heads touched to, his head. No, we're our heads are like this and we're wrestling. Uh-huh. And I'm like rubbing it like, you know, an Indian, you know, like an Indian rub with my head on his head. So your head is touching his head. Yeah, yeah but he's, his is touching mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's mutual. But who instigated the head touch? It doesn't matter. We were doing yeah, that. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we don't know. You know, we're locking up. Like, so my brother just goes and he threw me. No, I shucked him. You shucked me. I didn't throw. It's yeah, a shuck. He, he shucked me and I was out the window. And then he <laughs> flew out the window. Shards of glass on my body. <laughs> I was out the window like this. You do your Are you own? ever gonna cut your hair? Is that ever gonna be a thing where you're gonna be like, would you? What role would you cut your hair for? Or who? What? What, what would the circumstances be like? Is it gotta be Spielberg? Does it gotta be like you know, who is it? I where feel like, like Spielberg would work with me. Uh, <laughs> ah. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel uh. like I have to go like mullet with bangs before I go <laughs> fully, or I just want to shave it. Will you shave your mustache? Yeah, I get that every single time. They say, will you shave your mustache? And I always say, you wouldn't want me to shave my mustache. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, I would look right, ridiculous. Right? Weed record store would be really cool, but a weed movie theater would yeah. be absolutely... Oh, and the snack place would just be off the chain. That's You'd have to have a waitress really, just walking around. That's a really good idea. Yeah, with hot dogs. And people would just be like, it would be nonstop. It'd be like, I'm seeing Doctor Strange again. <laughs> seen it three times today <laughs> gets better every time people just don't leave the theater is what would happen yeah that that's the problem yeah,